Hi, Dodgers fans. Is Shohei Otani losing his magic at the most critical time of the year? For a player who has dominated the game like few before him, Otani's recent struggles have left Dodgers fans holding their breath. Could the Dodgers truly reach their ultimate goal, a World Series title, if their $700 million superstar continues to underperform? As Otani's postseason slump deepens, the question looms large. Will he snap out of it in time to help his team? Or could this be the rare moment when the brightest star begins to flicker? Otani's calm demeanor on the field, his occasional smile, and even a few moments of laughter suggest that he's not letting the pressure get to him. But beneath the surface, it's clear something is off. After smashing his way into the postseason with a homer in his first game against the Padres, Otani has gone ice cold. He's 6-for-27 this postseason homerless in his last six games, and shockingly zero for 19 with the bases empty. As the Dodgers battle the New York Mets in the National League Championship Series, NLCS, the team needs their superstar more than ever. Can Otani find his groove in time? Or is this a slump that could define the Dodgers' October? Manager Dave Roberts remains unwavering in his belief that Otani will break through. Despite the growing concerns, Roberts hasn't flinched refusing to drop Otani from the leadoff spot. There have been times that he has to reset, Roberts said. Sometimes certain pitchers sort of kind of trigger bad habits, and you've got to identify that to then reset. My expectation is that he's going to reset today. But will Otani be able to make the necessary adjustments in time for the Dodgers to keep their World Series hopes alive? The weight of expectation is immense. Otani isn't just another player. He's been compared to legends like Babe Ruth, carrying the burden of being both an elite hitter and a star pitcher, even though he sidelined from the mound due to Tommy John surgery. When Otani signed his record-breaking $700 million contract to join the Dodgers, the baseball world expected nothing less than brilliance. His regular season lived up to the hype, becoming the first player in MLB history to hit 50 home runs and steal 50 bases in the same season. But now, in the most important games of the year, Otani's bat has gone quiet. Otani acknowledges that the postseason is a different beast. This is my first experience in the postseason, so I can't really rely on the experiences or my reflection in the past, Otani said. But what I do know is that we've been playing against good teams, better teams, with their best pitchers. So being able to get base hits, put up results, isn't as easy maybe as it could be. While that may be true, Dodgers fans expect more from their two-way sensation. After all, players like Otani are brought in to win championships, not just compete. Dodgers manager Dave Roberts has faced his own barrage of questions regarding Otani's struggles. Even he seemed concerned with how much Otani chased pitches outside the strike zone, especially against Yu Darvish in Game 5 of the NLDS. Was it a mental block considering Darvish was Otani's idol growing up? or are opposing teams simply too dialed in on Otani's weaknesses? The Mets, like all teams facing a star of Otani's caliber, are meticulously planning how to pitch to him, aiming to exploit every flaw. History is filled with stars who struggled in their early postseason careers, only to come alive when it mattered most. Barry Bonds, for example, hit just .196 in his first five postseasons before breaking out during the 2002 World Series. Alex Rodriguez faced similar challenges, underperforming in his first seven postseasons before becoming a key player in the Yankees' 2009 World Series run. Could Otani follow a similar path, overcoming his early struggles to deliver when the Dodgers need him most? As much as the Mets may breathe a sigh of relief each time Otani is retired at the plate, they aren't letting their guard down. Mets manager Carlos Mendoza is well aware of how quickly Otani can turn things around. He's still Shohei Otani, Mendoza said. He's one of the best hitters in the league. He's an elite hitter. He's dangerous. One swing of the bat could change everything, and both teams know it. The Dodgers are a team full of stars, but Shohei Otani is the centerpiece, the player they envisioned leading them to a World Series parade in downtown Los Angeles. Will he rise to the occasion? Or will this slump be the storyline that haunts the Dodgers' postseason run? As every pitch, every at-bat, and every swing is magnified in October, the pressure on Otani will only intensify.
The world is watching. Can Otani deliver? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and rate it highly. Please also subscribe to my channel. Then, see you in the next video.